Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on RHL 8 or 9. PostgreSQL 17 is the latest version at the time of making this video. Open any web browser, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Enter. See, on September 26, 24, PostgreSQL 17 is released. This is the latest version. So, click on download, select the Linux, then select Red Hat, Rocky or Alma Linux. Click on this box, then scroll down. See here, PostgreSQL M repository currently supports RHL, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, CentOS, Oracle Linux and Fedora. Select the version. See here, we have the versions from 12 to 17. So, select the latest one, then select the platform that is RHL 9. Select it. See, once we selected, populated the commands to be executed to install the PostgreSQL. So, copy these commands one by one. First one is installing the RPM. So, copy this one, right click, copy, then open terminal. Paste that command, hit enter, and provide the password of sudo user. It is done. Now disable the built-in PostgreSQL module by running this command. Copy it, Control C, right click, paste here, hit enter. It is done. Now Control L to clear screen. Now install the PostgreSQL server by running the command sudo dnf install PostgreSQL 17 hyphen server. Hit enter. See, install size is 41 megabytes and download size is 9.2. Also see here. It is going to download the version number 17. Type 5 for confirmation and hit enter. Type and hit enter. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL 17. Now we have to initialize the database and enable automatic start by running this command. Copy this one. I will keep this link in the video description. Paste it, hit enter. Initialization of database is success. Control it to clear screen. Now verify the status of PostgreSQL. sudo system ctl status. PostgreSQL hyphen 17. See, PostgreSQL service is not running and it is disabled. We can, we can enable by running these two commands. One, first one enables and second one starts the PostgreSQL service. Copy it. Q to quit. Paste it. Hit enter. It is done. Now, start the PostgreSQL service by using this command. Copy it. Paste it, hit enter. Now verify the status of PostgreSQL service. sudo system ctl status 
postgres equal hyphen 70 hit enter see postgres equal service is running and it is enabled q to quit and these are the list of the processes running for the postgres equal server Control l to clear screen and this is the data directory okay now we will see how to connect to postgres equal server Control l to clear screen sudo su hyphen postgres hit enter now give the psql see this is the psql version not the postgres equal server version so we can verify the postgres equal server version by running the command select version put semicolon at the end hit enter see we have installed postgres equal 17.0 on this linux that is rhl machine okay the first step after connecting to postgres equal server is we have to set the password for super user that is postgres slash du to verify the list of the users see we have only one user that is postgres to verify the list of the databases we have to run the command backslash l okay now set the password for this postgres user alter user postgres with password then give the password in your case give the strong password hit enter we have successfully set the password now control l to clear screen now we will create a database by using the command create database after schools put semicolon at the end of the statement we have successfully created again if i backslash l see here we have the new database after schools and this is the owner name you can also get the databases name names by running comma dat name from pg underscore database see we got the only that particular database names now let us create a user create user james with password admin 123 we have successfully created now we will create a table in this database before that we have to switch to that database backslash c or backslash connect both are same then give the database name see you are now connected to database after schools as user post case now create a table in this database create table student snm int primary key s name where cat 50 put semicolon now verify list out tables see we have only one table that is student and one is this is and schema name is public let us insert some data into this table insert into student values then give 100 Now insert one more row. Let us try to insert same S number and different S name. See we got the duplicate key value while it's unique constraint. So we can't give the same value for a column which is defined as primary key. So we have to give different values for the primary key column now we are able to now verify the data select star from student see we have these three rows and also notice here whenever we give star means it retrieves all columns of the table but if you want only the particular column names you have to mention the column names like this from then table name see but if you want only the particular s name column you the select from student put semicolon see we got only one now we will find the configuration files information so config underscore file see this file contains postgres equal server level configuration information next option is 
HBF, HBA means host based authentication while it contains authentication rules. So HBA underscore file. Okay, next. Now we will see how to connect to the with this new user. Exit Q2 backslash Q. Exit hyphen H. Then localhost. H means host name. Hyphen D. Postgres is the database. D means database name. Hyphen U. James. Hit enter. Then provide the password of this. James user. You switch to Arthur Schools. We have successfully switched. Now let us try to create a table. Create table test tnum int c. We don't have permission for this user on the schema public. Okay. So to do anything, we have to grant the privileges for the users you can go through the video description you can find the a link how to grant and revoke permissions to a user on a database okay the last step is exit now we will see how to stop start and restart postgresql server sudo systemctl status this is the command user to check the status of the postgresql server hyphen 70 See, process equal service is running. Let us stop it. Q to it. Control L to clear screen. Use the same command. Just replace this status with stop. Now verify again. See, process equal service is stopped two seconds ago. Q to it. Now try to connect to process equal service. Sudo su hyphen postgres psql. See, we are unable to connect and also is the server running locally and accepting connections. Okay, which means it is stopped. Let us start it again. We can't start with Postgres user. So exit. Now try to start with the same command. Just replace status with the start. Now verify. See, we have started three seconds ago. We took it. Now last step is we will see how to restart. sudo systemctl restart postgres equal hyphen 70 hit enter now verify see we have restarted two seconds ago okay we can also connect to postgres equal server by using pg admin i am not going to show you how to download and install pg admin on this machine i have made any video how to install the pg admin on rhl we can go through the video description and install it and connect to postgres equal 17 from the pg admin so in this video we have seen how to install and configure process equal 17 on rhl 9 but the process is same for all rhl versions for more process equal or linux videos please subscribe my channel thank you